So now I'm going to show you, to give you an example of how to process, how to generate the result from Amids that we need to run Metab. So I'm running a, a Mac here, and uh, Amidis is not available for Mac. So I have a remote session with, an, with a Windows computer to show you how to process Amidis, how to use Amidis and, and produce the report that we need. So the first thing to do is to open Amidis. So Amidis is here. I, I believe you are familiar with this screen. So the first thing to do is to set the configuration that you need. So here in the settings, you have plenty of configurations that you, you can change. One of them will be the library that you're going to use. Damage library generally comes in with two files. So you have the CID file and the M MSL file. But the file that you actually point when you load the library in Amidis is the MSL file. So I open that library. And if I want to see that library, I actually have here a description of every metabolite. Here the retention time associated to each metabolite. And if I click here, I can even have more options. I can see the, the actual spectrum related to that metabolite. OK, so now the library is set. I have all my configuration set. I don't want to change anything here in this case. So I save the configuration. So save, done. Now I can run the report that Metab requires. <clears throat> so the, 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 this report, so Amidis has two options, gives you two options to generate reports. It can generate one single report for each file you analyze, or you can run a batch report which is a report containing the results of a bunch of files, a set of files. So that's what we need. We need one single report with the results of each file. So if I come to File, I have here an option of Batch Job. Then I go to Create and Run Job. It opens this screen here, which in this case has already plenty of files loaded because those, I analyzed those files in my last session. So I'm going to remove everything just to show you how it looks in the beginning. It looks like this. These options here in the default is actually, I think this one is, is, not, is not selected. And this one probably is, is in, a, I think it's like this. So you have to go, come to change the analysis type to the, the type of analysis that you want to do. Most people use simple analysis, at least in metabolomics. And then here you have to choose generate report. Otherwise, it will analyze all the files and it won't generate any, any report. So it's useless. Uh, in this case, for us, it's useless. It can use that type of analysis to different reasons, but not, not for us. So select simple, generate report, report all hits, and now you select the files that you want to analyze. So I want to analyze the CDF files that I showed you before. So this is one set of the files, and I also want to analyze this second set of files. Beautiful. I have all the files that I want to analyze, and it will result in a single report. You have to pay attention in this case here. Sometimes if you select, you may select different option here for a different file. For instance, I want to this single file here, I want to use a different type of analysis. You can do that. So here, you can, as you can see, most of the files are simple, but this file here will be analyzed using this internal standard. It's not what we want now, so I want every file to be analyzed with this simple type. Generate report, report all hits. Now I need to show, to tell Amelis where it's going to save the report, where it's going to save the results. So I come here to save us. Here I was playing around with that before, so I have already two job files here. Let's suppose that I want to create a new one. So batch report MDIS, and I'll put here the date of today and save. It's just I just told MDIS where to save the results, and now I put run. It's going to run all the files we select uh, in a single run, and you generate a single report as a result. So the report will be generated 
in this folder here that we selected. So finished the analysis. You can see here a description of all the analysis and then I can close my my window. Yes, okay. And when you close it asks if you want to keep or delete the files that AMS generates when analyze each of the CDF files. So I want to, to keep the files, but you can delete those files won't be useful for now for us now. Are the thin those files are the FIN and ELU file. Some some people can use those files for other reasons, but we don't need. So I'll delete them. So as a as a result, M is generated the the report. So here is the report that we generated now, which has the data, the date. Uh, it generates these two files here, the job and the TX, the, the text file. The job just tells you which files were analyzed and, and the date that they were analyzed, analyzed and the configuration used. The text file is the one that we, that we need. So the text file has all the information, all the results generated by AMIDS for each one of the files, but everything in a single file, okay? So I have an example of another another report like this in, in Mac, so I'm not going to use the session here that's too small, so i give you an example of this report here with this file. So if I open this file here, you see it's just a simple text file with all the information from from the analysis I can actually open that file using Microsoft Excel it's much it's much easier to, to analyze I'm just showing you how the the file looks like so in the first column here you have all the the name of the the files analyzed and the, the name here the name of the compounds identified in each one of this, these files. So you see that you have all the files, the results for each file on top of each other. Okay. So in here are the, the quantification that AMS gives you. So you have this base peak, which is the abundance of the most abundant, generally the most abundant ion uh, related to a specific compound. But it also has we also have here the, the area of the peak related to that compound and the, the signal. Okay, so using Metab we have an option to filter these results and collect only the base peak associated to each metabolite or only the area associated to each metabolite, or a second option, which is the main option actually of Met actually of Metab which is to recalculate the abundance of this of each metabolite based in a single uh, in a fixed mass fragment based on the the library used by AMRIS. The idea is that we are going for each metabolite we are going to quantify that metabolite always using the same ion mass fragment which is the most abundant ion mass fragment associated to that metabolite in the library used in AMRIS. Okay, so for example, if I show you, if I go back here to, to AMRIS, just to make it a bit clear for you, so if I see the library that you used, here's the spectrum used by to identify ethanol. So what what Metab is going to do is to recalculate the abundance of, of ethanol based always in the ion mass fragment 31. For acetone, it's going to use the 43. For isopropyl alcohol, it's going to use 45 and so on. So that's the type of correction that Metab does. Okay. 
but it gives you also the option to to re to return the the abundance based on the base peak and also the area. Okay. Cool. So that's the report generated by Amits.